Hey, it's Monday and I'm Midja. And in two weeks time, my eldest son, Tommy, starts trade school. Now we knew that traditional school wasn't working for him and that we needed to make a change. So this week he had his interview with the principal and the principal said, so Tom, what trade do you want to do? And Tom's like, uh, I'm not sure, maybe something in building and construction. And you know what? Sometimes we don't know what we want. Sometimes we don't know what our next step should be. But what we do know is that what we're doing right now, where we're at, is not working for us. And when we're at that point, we have a choice to make. Now, firstly, we can choose to do nothing at all and just stay where we are. And maybe we're unhappy, dissatisfied, but we just put up with it, hoping that something will change. It's like Einstein's definition of insanity, keep doing the same thing, but expecting a different result. Or our second option is to do something different, to make a change, to move. And behind me here is a quote by Seth Godin. It's something I read often. And there's a line in this that says, it doesn't matter if I'm always right, it matters that I'm always moving. And whoever got anywhere in life by following a straight line? You know, life is about the curves and the bends and the twists and the three-point turns that we have to make. And all of those ups and downs in life, of course, present us with opportunities to learn and to grow and to learn more about ourselves, to gain a greater awareness of who we are and how we want to contribute in this world. And so Tommy, over the next 18 months, he's going to have an opportunity to do weeks of work experience. And I know he's going to find his way. And he's going to be always moving forward. I also wanted to give you today an update on Douglas. For those of you who watch my video blog every Monday, Douglas was on my shoulder here last week. And two days later, Douglas flew away, never to be seen again. So I guess Douglas needed a safe place to stay. Maybe he wanted some reassurance and some love and some courage in order to fly to his next adventure. But maybe sometimes we all need a safe place and a little bit of encouragement, a little bit of comfort before we take that next big step. I am, I can, I'm Midja, Mwah. bye guys.